which one of the following bounded the horn of africa in southeast a red sea b indian ocean c kenya d sudan students horn of africa is bounded by the red sea and the gulf of aden in northeast whereas by kenya in south by sudan in north and the west as well as by indian ocean in southeast by asia south of southwest so the answer is b the indian ocean bounded horn of africa in southeast good question number two the equatorial type of climate in africa is characterized by a low daily range of temperature b low mean monthly temperature c low angle of the sun d low annual range of temperature students tropical regions are known with having high sun angles throughout the year why because it is found in tropics another it is known with having high mean monthly and the mean annual temperatures high daily and the low annual ranges of temperature high total annual rainfall with rainfalling throughout the year so not low daily range of temperature not low mean monthly temperature not low angle of the sun but it is known with having low annual range of temperature which means between one degree celsius to three degree celsius so the answer is d question number three which of the following is correct about the northern africa a it is characterized by tropical climate b its surface configuration is determined by mountains c its largest part is covered by dense vegetation d it is landlocked region in the continent so the correct one is the surface configuration of north africa is determined by mountains like that of morocco which is known with having highest mountains so all the states of this region are one known with having direct access to the sea two northern africa is characterized by desert climates three the mediterranean type of climate is also dominates the region maghreb region which means north africa again the region's topography is dominated by mountains and the plains so the answer is b question number four in which of the following area in africa is a wind becomes a dominant agent of soil erosion a side region b tropical rainforest regions c east african highlands d the congo basin Sahel is located in west africa it includes mauritania chad mali burkina faso and niger it is the transitional zone between sahara in north and the tropical areas to the south wind erosion is commonly found in areas where known with desert like sahel whereas water erosion is common in equatorial regions where the rainfall is commonly found throughout the year so the answer is the sahel region question number five which of the following region of africa is the most urbanized a northern africa b western africa c eastern africa d southern africa students it is better to know one by one with comparing them southern africa is known with having 56 percent of urbanization whereas eastern africa is about 22 percent northern africa is about 50. so from this the most populated is the southern 
Africa, which is known with having 60, I mean 56 percent of urbanization than the others. Number six, in which areas of Africa is placer mining commonly practiced? Placer mining is students. It is an extraction of mineral deposits from excavation of sand, gravel, and clay, as well as siltus. This is most common among the societies who are living near the river valleys. So, the answer is C. A. At the top of the mountains. B. In areas of rock layer surface. C. Near river valleys. D. In areas where there is dense vegetation, it says. The correct answer is C. Around the, the river valleys, there is mineral excavations. Question number seven. Which of the following is true about mountain climate in Africa? A. It is similar to tropical climate. No. B. It is rainfall decreases with the rise in altitude. C. It has a high annual range of temperature. D. It mainly receives orographic types of rainfall. The answer is D. Why? Tropical areas are known with convectional type of climate, whereas mountain areas are receiving orographic. Here, its rainfall decreases with the rise in altitude, it says. Which one is? Mountain areas. So, as altitude increases, the rainfall is becomes increases again. So, it is not. The correct answer is D. Number eight. Which region in Africa is extremely affected by drought? A. Southeastern Highland region. B. Equatorial region. Make it this one B. C. Western coastal regions. D. Sahel region, it says. As we have seen earlier, Sahel region is highly affected by drought. Why? Because it is a desert region. Good. Number nine. Which of the following statement is not correct about tropical rainforest of Africa. A. They are largely confined to the central and the western Africa as well as Madagascar. B. They have little undergrowth as the canopy of a tall tree prevent the prevention of the penetration of light. C. They have significantly low species diversity. D. They contain broad-leaved evergreen trees, it says. Equatorial or tropical rainforest in Africa is known with 1. Largely confined to the central, western, and as well as to the Madagascar. Another, they have little undergrowth as the canopy, short types of plants. Why? Because in this forest, or in this climatic region, there are three types of forests. The tallest, the medium, and the shortest. Okay? Here, they have significantly high species diversities, not low species. So the answer is B. I mean C. C. They have significantly diverse species, not low species diversities. Question number 10. Which region in Africa accounts for the major mining and manufacturing industries of the continent? A. Northern Africa. B. Western Africa. C. Eastern Africa. D. Central Africa. Northern Africa is comparatively known with major mining and manufacturing industries of the continent. A is the answer. Number 11. The savanna vegetation in Africa is characterized by A. Dominancy of xerophytes, B. Evergreen and deciduous trees, C. 
mixed woodland and the grass ecosystem the alpine plant it says the savanna region are known with having plants of like acacias xerophytes thorny trees which have the capacity to resist the environmental climate or drought in the region so the answer is a number 12 the strait of babel mandab connects africa with a europe b india c asia d south america it says it is better to see one by one africa gets closest in europe across the strait of gibraltar with 22 kilometers wide between morocco and spain for your amazing this question comes again in ethiopian university entrance exam of 2012 or 2013 as it asks as such like the, what it says which of the following connects africa in europe or with europe it says but here africa comes closest to asia across the strait babel mandab with 14 kilometers so the answer 